first, you have to modify the bottle so that you can easily put a branch of the fig tree from one end of the bottle to the other. I do this by cutting through the screw top and removing a portion of that. Then I need to split the bottle from one end to the other. And sometimes the most difficult part of this is to cut a, a round end at the bottom end of the Coke bottle because that plastic there is very hard and difficult to cut. step is to remove a portion of the bark from around the limb that you're going to root about an inch and a half uh, all the way around. This uh, will give you the area that the roots will start in. You have to make a circular cut around both ends and then peel the bark right off all the way around. The end closest to the tip of the branch should be just below a leaf node and that's where the roots will grow. Next you should put some root tone on that. I do that here by dipping a q-tip in it and then uh, putting it on that uh, end of the cut closest to the towards the uh, tip of the branch because that is where the roots will grow. The next step is to add the Coke bottle. First, you fill it with pot, good potting soil and pack it in there as tight as you can. You slip it up over the limb so that the one end of the limb goes through the opening of the bottle and the other end comes out the other end. Pack it in there as tight around that uh, cut as you can. And it helps to have a piece of, a couple of pieces of tape stuck to your arm so that you can just uh, uh, tape that bottle up because with only two hands it's really hard to tear a piece of tape off of a roll but once you get it taped up there you're on the way now all you have to do is finish taping it up and wait for four weeks until you can see roots growing in the bottle Now, all you have to do is clip the cutting from the tree and then trim off the excess leaves. At this point, we're almost finished. All we have to do is get this baby out of the bottle. So we take, cut the tape and peel it off. Uh, and you also have to be very careful about the roots because they're tender and they're just brand new roots and they're very tender at this point so getting them carefully out of the bottle is a big deal um, Now, isn't that just a beautiful root ball? I'm excited to be able to plant this thing into a pot. It looks perfect. At this point, you will want to snip the end of that uh, wood, woody uh, root stem off, put it in a potting, uh, in with some good potting soil, maybe a little sand mixed in with it, pack it down, and then you'll want to add some water to water it in. And you're completed with the whole project. Isn't it great?